That's yeah. right. That's right. And if something is funny that we say, they will laugh. They and will if laugh. it's not, they're not. They're, they're the not true laughing. judge. Pat behind the camera. Right. She, if, she if I laughs. can see, if I can see Pat's yeah. shoulders <laughs> going up and down. Chris on the jib will tell me if Hampton. That's right. That's right. And if something is funny that we say, they will laugh. They and will if laugh. it's not, they're not. They're, they're the not true laughing. judge. Pat behind the camera. Right. She, if, she if I can laughs. see, if I can see Pat's yeah. shoulders <laughs> going Chris, up and down. Chris on the jib will tell me if Hampton. Are we are we safe? <laughs> oh, it was in it was in 42. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good then. Forget we're good. them. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Why do you love the game? Uh, why I love really? the game. A uh, friend of the program, M M uh, Meredith Morakovitz, uh, had this report. That's my <laughs> grandmother's tooth. That's a molar. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> I, yeah. I, I've seen a shark tooth. Every day as Maybe it just wants to make me feel sad. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's just flight. Everything goes. It's good. And they've led in many games that they've lost recently. You were able to talk with Steve Cohen, and we heard his comments a little bit earlier uh, in the week about him not blowing it up. What else did he say? Take me inside those comments and that conversation. Yeah, I talked to the Mets own. Might not be good enough. There's just no way to fix it today. Like, they, 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 they're they locked in on certain things. It isn't like I say to my friends all the time when they say, hey, they need a relief pitcher. And I said, well, is the relief pitcher store a relief pitcher? They might have dealt into a not good enough group. But I think overreaction, it's good for me. I hope he does it. Sure. It's good for a oh. New York tabloid. I don't know that it's good for the New York. Cortez on the injured list. No Aaron Judge for times. No Giancarlo Stanton at times. This is pretty good from what we're seeing from the Yankees. No yeah. Severino for the Thank basically you. the first two months, and then a not a very good Severino afterwards. I've got to say this, is Lauren, you know, I've done Cordero every year. It was Ian Hamilton earlier this year. By the way, Michael King was a small trade. Clay Holmes was a small trade. Wandy Peralta was a small trade. They've all become terrific relief pitchers. Hand over and Aaron Judge's top step. Even though he's injured, his presence, you know, there's no column in baseball reference for presence. He's there, Joel. They'd rather have him with a bat than pom-poms, though, so, you know. I got it. Robert, take it away. <laughs> all right, still to come, the Cincinnati Reds. Now, TJ Friedel batting 321 at the top of that lineup. 22 comeback wins. Yes. This season, Joel, most in the National League, you're starting to see it. So when the Yankees and Mets was one of those games that if you won it, you felt really good, and if you lost it, it was tough to stomach. There is always another day over 162 game season, and the Mets will get that chance with their other ace, Justin Verlander, on the mound taking the ball in game two. There will be no shortage of aces. Garrett Cole looking for win number eight. Yankees 11 and three in his starts this season. Did someone say eight wins? That's the number of wins. Merrill Kelly has the Diamondbacks. They lead the West. You heard me, a three game lead over the Dodgers, and it is Kelly who gets the ball. He's been so solid. Eight and three, a 2 9 3, and has recorded the win in Seven of his last eight starts, 940 from the desert tonight. And the Marlins are in the Pacific Northwest. Luis Castillo getting the star for the Mariners. And Yuri Perez for Miami, who has made quick work of his little time in the big leagues. Three and one, a 2-1-7 is Marlins eyeing a playoff berth. 940 from T-Mobile Park tonight, Robert. Take it. Uh, I mean, a lot of hard work. You know, I, I did like this awkward, you know. Yeah, I saw you kind of. Get out, mate. Like you wanted I, to. You know, it kind of, it never quit, never entered my mind. But it was, it was kind of like this could be my last year just because, mm. you know, I'm getting older. Yeah. You know. What is going on? Yeah, it, so, so you're with, uh, as I mentioned, you're with the, is, what, what's your mindset now? And what do you think is on the horizon for you? You know, I'm a good clubhouse guy. I like to mess around. You know, so, yeah, you know, so that's kind of what I'm doing now, kind of, you know, and now that I have a big, big league experience, yeah. I can kind of share that with them. So, I mean, and who knows what the future holds, you know, maybe sitting up here with you guys for a while. Yeah, sure. yes. why not? Do it. Love it. Did you know coming out of spring training, Pittsburgh was going to be this good? Yeah. You did. Yeah. You had a feel. Is there anything better? Last night, so he's under 400. But I had to unleash Trey Turner Grand Salami on him. Last night, so he's under 400. But I had to unleash Trey Turner Grand Salami on him. Thank you. Who's yours? I don't know if Randy Arozarena is a no, class what? clown, but he makes me laugh. He makes By me laugh, By the way, too. he plays during the WBC 